Today we are going to talk about cancer. Many people are afraid of this disease. Of course. But it is important to know that having this disease does not have to be an end point. Do you have cancer? Do you know someone who does? This video is for you. This video is for everyone. So share it with those you love. Cancer according to WHO is a large group of diseases that can start in almost any organ or tissue of the body when abnormal cells grow uncontrollably, go beyond their usual boundaries to invade adjoining parts of the body and are spread to other organs. The different types of cancers correspond to different types of tissue, skin, muscle or bone, for example. The cancer's multiplication speed is also a classification criterion, as it can spread slowly or quickly. Here we want to talk about how to prevent cancer. Is there something we can do? Yes. There is primary prevention and secondary prevention. When you do exams, do a colonoscopy, remove a polyp, for example, you are doing secondary prevention. However, we want to focus on something before that. We can have attitudes that aim to avoid cancer. Pay attention to the excerpt of this amazing interview with Dr. Gundry. This was in Australia 10 years ago. I think Australia at that time was not as aggressive, but five years after that, my mum was diagnosed with advanced breast cancer in both her breasts. Mm. And they were very aggressive with her and said, you need to do surgery and chemo and radiation. And so my, you know, I sat down with my mum and said, what do you feel like you need to do for your healing? What, what do you think will, you know, is the most empowering choice for you? And my mum said, honestly, I do want to do surgery because I feel like that cut it all out. I'll start fresh then I won't have the cancer anymore. But she said, I just honestly can't do chemo radiation. I feel like if I do that, I'll put my body under too much pressure and stress and that will make my situation worse. So, and then she also did a nutritional plan. So she started juicing as well, getting all that nutrition into her, lots of vitamin C. She also took vitamin D supplements as well. And that for the next six months after that, doctors kept calling her, pressuring her, like, it's going to come back if you don't do chemo radiation. And my mom would call me in fear and be like, what should I do? And I said, well, what, you know, what do you feel? And she's like, I can't do it. So she never did it. And she's cancer free to this day. That's a fantastic story. The first thing to do is to stop smoking. This is one of the most important rules. It will prevent cancer of the mouth, pharynx, throat, larynx, and esophagus. Cigarettes have more than 4,700 toxic substances that are inhaled by smokers and by people close to them. The second thing. Escape from processed foods. Sausages, canned foods, frozen bowls. Preservatives can cause colon and rectal cancer. Flee from soft drinks. Third tip. Stay slim. Obesity offers the chance of different types of diseases and the same rule for cancer. Obesity increases the chances of cancer. Fourth tip, breastfeed. Breastfeeding protects the mother from breast cancer and protects the child from childhood obesity. Fifth tip, get preventive examinations. Women between the ages of 25 and 64 should be screened for colon cancer. There is no need to be afraid. Sixth tip, consider getting vaccinated against HPV. Seventh tip, consider getting vaccinated against hepatitis B as this can prevent liver cancer. Eighth tip, reduce your alcohol consumption. Reduce your exposure to the sun. Wear a hat, a protective blouse. But don't avoid the sun completely. Vitamin D deficiency can also cause cancer. Everything is in moderation. Tip 10, minimize your exposure to chemicals as much as possible. Avoid dyeing your hair with lead-based dye, avoid aluminum pans, aluminum-based deodorant. We know that the United States is a champion in the use of these chemicals. Let's avoid them. We are coming to the end. Thank you for watching this. If you are going through cancer, don't abandon your doctor's treatment and don't give up. Enjoy other content on our channel. We've already talked about the benefits of oregano tea for digestion. We have already talked about the three worst foods in the world. We've talked about the benefits of the egg diet. We've talked about the benefits of lemon water and much more.